Hello, my name is Carolyn Bamberg and I'm the middle school principal at Hazel Glen College. Today I'm going to speak with you about why middle school is a great place to be and introduce some other important people who will help you thrive in the coming years. Okay, you will see here on the screen some important faces you and your child will get to know in 2022. Remember that your child's home group teacher is your number one contact, but we are also on hand to help however we can. The first thing I'd like to acknowledge is just how much growth and change we will see from our students and children in the coming years. Our young people are about to embark in biological and emotional changes that will shape them as individuals and equip them for the tools for success as adults. This image is a perfect depiction of what happens in middle school. Our kids will embark on immense change and development and with the support of friends, family and the school community, they will grow and flourish as learners and as people into their future. Now it won't be as simple as that last slide suggests and it is our role to work with our families and young people to help navigate this time and ensure the journey is as positive as possible. One important focus in the middle school is on the social emotional learning. We often speak about emotions during early, early adolescence as being like an iceberg. Students will feel emotions that are often strong and sometimes hard to control. However, what drives these emotions are often underlying ones hard to name and deal with. Our focus in the middle school is to help students understand this range of emotions and how to manage and reconcile these emotions in a positive way. The other big focus in middle school is helping students develop their learner identity. We know in the coming years, literacy and numeracy will remain the building blocks of success, accompanied by rich and engaging learning experiences. We focus our curriculum on understanding our learners, celebrating their uniqueness and developing their learning skills such as communication, critical thinking, creativity, collaboration and problem solving. We want students to develop resilience, understand learning is messy and it's okay to make mistakes. We want them to know we believe in them and know they can be successful and know they are growing into great people. Now I'll introduce Miss Christy Harvey, Middle School Assistant Principal, to build upon the ideas I just raised. Thank you, Carolyn. My name is Christy Harvey and I'm the Middle School Assistant Principal for Wellbeing and Engagement. I'd like to start by saying that we are really excited about welcoming our new Year 5 students into middle school in 2022. We have just completed a successful transition program where Year 4 students were able to get a taste of some of the exciting opportunities we can provide in a middle school. Many students would have had the opportunity to participate in a food technology class or complete an experiment in a science laboratory, which is a unique opportunity for a Year 5 student. There are many similarities between junior school and middle school. And this includes our college values, or what we call the four R's, respect, resilience, responsibility, and relationships. Your child will continue to learn about what these values look like both in the classroom and in the yard. Our teachers use this language consistently, consistently and we are always encouraging our students to live by these values every day. In middle school, we also live by the fish philosophy, and this is embedded into our culture of our school. Our teachers model the philosophies of choosing your attitude, making someone's day, being there for each other, and the importance of play. Hazel Glen College prides itself on the importance of building trusting and genuine relationships with our students. And this is a critical component of middle school and why we have a big focus on social and emotional learning. Teachers in middle school understand the needs of an adolescent learner. They understand that this is a time of significant change for our students, emotionally, cognitively, and also physically. Our teachers understand that during this time, students need to feel safe and secure in their learning environment. They must feel heard and know that we genuinely care. Our teachers do this by setting up the right preconditions for learning. This includes getting to know the individual student and taking a genuine interest in their lives. We ensure students are comfortable to have a voice in the classroom, opportunities to use their own specific and unique styles of learning, and to develop their skills and feel safe and connected to their peers and to their teachers. When teachers take the time to find out their students' interests and learning styles, they can tie this into their learning, which promotes engagement and academic growth. Building positive relationships is not only between the teacher and the student. It is vital that we also maintain positive relationships with families. 
Working together and keeping open communication with families ensures our teachers know how to best cater to their students' needs. We encourage our families to keep in regular contact with teachers and relevant staff members to ensure we can provide the best possible learning environment for your child. As you are aware, Hazel Glen College is a very large school. However, we have a range of structures in place at various levels to ensure that every child is supported. All middle school students attend a home group class at the start of every day, and this teacher will be your first point of call for any questions or concerns you may have, just like your child's classroom teacher in junior school. From here, we have a scaffolded support structure depending on the individual needs of the student and also the situation. In 2022, Robbie McCoy will be the year five year level leader, and he will be supported by a new staff member Bill Van Driel, who will be the head of school for years five and year six. Bill and Robbie will oversee all wellbeing needs of students within these year levels. This then follows on to myself, who oversees all wellbeing and engagement across middle school. In addition to this, we also have a wellbeing leader, Ben Smith, who works with specific students based on their individual wellbeing needs. I'd like to finish my part of the presentation by again welcome, welcoming all Year 4 students and their families to middle school. I'm looking forward to meeting and getting to know all of you. I will now pass on to Ms Andrea Lynch, Middle School Assistant Principal of Curriculum. Thank you. Thank you, Christy. I'm Andrea Lynch, the Assistant Principal of Curriculum in Middle School. The Middle School curriculum is structured to ensure a smooth transition from junior school into middle school. With the introduction of a variety of new subjects and learning opportunities, taking into account the needs of middle years learners. As with junior school, we have a 10 day timetable that consists of week A and week B. Subjects that your child will study in year five can be seen on the screen. Students will have five sessions per day that run for one hour. The number of sessions allocated to each subject per fortnight can also be seen on the screen. Some exciting opportunities for your child will include the participation in food technology, working in our innovative STEAM building, and the hands-on opportunities of science pracs in a lab. Our teachers are unique middle school teachers who specialise in teaching the ages of our middle school students and guide students through the stages of development. Our middle school curriculum is made up of these features. A challenging and engaging curriculum, that reflects contemporary issues, opportunities to apply learning to real life situations, meaningful learning experiences that are culturally relevant, drawing on student passions and interests, involvement in making choices about learning pathways through co-constructed learning intentions and success criteria. Support to develop competencies in communicating, problem solving and becoming responsible citizens collaboration with students to personalise curriculum and our pedagogy. In junior school, teachers use Seesaw to share work and provide feedback on how your child is progressing in their learning. In middle school, Compass is our main tool for providing feedback to parents and students on learning achievements. Throughout the year, your child will complete assessments that are assessed according to the Victorian curriculum outcomes. Student achievement and rubrics can be viewed on Compass in learning tasks. Rubrics can provide feedback on your child's progress with areas for improvement to continue to grow as learners. Learning tasks can be viewed at any time of the year. Further to this, you will receive interim reports, semester reports and an opportunity to attend three-way conferences twice a year. In middle school, we provide an inclusive educational environment that caters to the individual needs of each student. We run a comprehensive transition program to ensure we have the best understanding of your child's skills, talents, abilities, learning needs and, needs and interests before they begin the school year. We use data and results of formative assessment tasks to inform our planning, which allows for students to be catered for based on their individual and unique needs through evidence-based practice. Where necessary, we will adjust and modify programs as per the response to intervention model to provide individual educational plans and provide opportunities for extension and acceleration. Home learning is a shared responsibility between school, teachers, students and parents. 
The purpose of home learning is to create connections between school and home and to support the learning that is happening in the classroom. Independent reading is an important part of home learning and research suggests that regular home reading is a benefit to overall student learning. This demonstrates the importance reading has on our students, particularly in their middle years of schooling, and how supporting a child to read at home can have significant impact on, impact on their learning success. Further to this, there will be weekly home learning set by the classroom teacher in English and Maths. In middle school, students are required to have their own iPad that they will use in a variety of ways to support their development of ICT skills and to enhance engagement in all learning. All students require an iPad that is a 32 gigabyte model or more. Students will also need headphones and keyboards are highly recommended. Compass is the digital communication management platform used by students, staff and parents. It allows students and parents to access timetables, communicate between teachers, parents and students, record attendance, consent and pay for events and excursions and to access reports and receive ongoing feedback for learning tasks. If you are new to the college, further information will be provided to you on how to access the parent portal for, Com for Compass. I would like now to introduce Mrs. Mal McClure, who is the head of Year 5 and 8 in middle school. Thank you, Andrea. Trans transition program over the past few weeks, the Year 4 students have participated in a comprehensive transition program titled Moving to Middle School. It all started with visiting the PAC for their first official transition assembly. The students then spent six sessions meeting middle school teachers and tasting the various subjects the middle school has to offer. The students experienced a guided tour from our current Year 5 students and discovered the various locations of the, of the middle school, including the library, art rooms, science labs, general classrooms, the food tech centre, and they even located the sick bay. Students participated in learning which included cooking, art, maths, English and humanities. They even did a science experiment. The students were fortunate to have a full experience and also learnt what the middle school cafeteria had to offer. Many students said it was the highlight for their year. Like junior school, middle school continues to pride itself in purple, black and white. Middle school students wear the uniform with care and expected to, to dress daily in the correct uniform. Unlike junior school, middle school students have an additional sports uniform along with the middle school summer and winter uniform. The sports uniform is worn for the whole day. There is no need to get changed. Grade five students do not wear a blazer, but rather the HGC spray jacket as the outer garment in winter. It is important that on full school uniform days, students are wearing lace up school shoes for health and safety reasons. Buckle up shoes for girls are not acceptable. The college cap is also required in terms one and four for recess and lunchtime and phys ed lessons. It is important that you clearly label your child's uniform with their name, just in case an item of the school uniform is lost. When junior school students transition to middle school, there are so many exciting new opportunities and experiences. During the first week of term one, each student is allocated a college locker. Students each receive their own locker to keep their personal belongings safe and secure during the day and overnight. Students choose their own locker combinations and are asked to keep these confidential to ensure their belongings are kept safe. Students should keep all of their personal property, books, school bag, jacket, lunch, etc. in their locker. Students should avoid bringing valuables to school. Middle school students work on a two week timetable where students will get to know each week as either A or week B. Students will refer to their Compass portal for this daily information. As you can see, the we weekly timetable reflects 60 minute sessions, five sessions per day. Home group is at the top of the daily timetable. This is an important time at the start of the day where students will meet with their home group teacher to discuss the daily notices and to have time to make connections and build the important relationships required to navigate middle school. The home group teacher will slowly build your child's confidence in reading their daily timetable, support them in locating classrooms and identifying tools required for learning each session. Compass can reflect your child's timetable at a daily glance. This will support them in understanding what they have scheduled for that day only. Students can continue to pre-order their lunch through their Munch Monitor account to be collected at the middle school cafeteria. You will, however, need to change class details of your child at the start of 2022 to reflect they will now be in middle school class. Students also line up and make purchases over the counter by paying cash. 
There is a range of hot food, snacks and drinks to select from. The Year 5 students will continue to have contact with old friends from junior school as they will have access to the Year 4 to 6 playground located near the junior school oval. We are very lucky to have this play area under cover. The Year 5 students also have full access to basketball, netball courts, down, down ball courts and the middle school oval um, and various lunchtime clubs. Lunchtime clubs are a great opportunity for students to meet others with like interests. It is a safe space which is guided by a teacher where students collaborate and explore different hobbies and interests. Lunchtime club opportunities include book club, anime, chess club, Yu-Gi-Oh club, walking club, etc. The Year 5 camp to Arabri Lodge in Warburton um, is something to look forward to. Arabai Lodge is located just past the township of Warburton East in the heart of the Yarra Valley, just under one hour and 30 minutes from Hazel Glen College. The camp is always scheduled early in Term 1 to provide students with the opportunity to develop relationships with their peers and teachers and try new experiences outside of the traditional school environment. Students will be challenged physically and mentally in a safe and comfortable environment. It has been unfortunate that this cohort of students have not yet had a real camp experience away from home due to the pandemic. This has been considered in the planning of next year's camp. Students will stay over for two nights. In previous years, it has been three nights. During their stay, students will build their independence in self-management and care. They will build trust and friendships, challenge themselves in new and exciting activities which will enable a sense of reward and achievement celebrate individual and group success and achievements. We highly encourage all students to attend the camp as it will be one of the many in which they will participate throughout their middle school years. A payment plan will be devised at the start of next year. The first payment will be due on the 4th of January 2022. There will be two more payments on the 4th of each month post the start date. A compass notification will be sent prior to payment plans commencing. Up and coming dates. So on Tuesday the 7th of December 2021, the whole College Orientation Day will take place. Tuesday the 4th of January 2022, the deposit for camp will be due. On Tuesday the 1st of February 2022, will be the first school day at HDC at 8.15am. Year 5 Camp Arabi Lodge in Warburton will take place on Monday the 28th to Wednesday the 30th of March for Group A. And then Camp 2, which will be Group B, will take place from Wednesday the 30th of March to Friday the 1st of April. An information pack will be forwarded via Compass to all families regarding all the information from this information session. Information packs will include the middle school uniform guidelines, uniform price list, important dates to remember for 2022, camp information, media consent, state relief information, personal accident insurance and ambulance cover information, technology overview regarding iPads, compass and digital bundles, performing arts, language subject information can also be found. You can also easily access all school documentation via compass. You can do this by opening in browser, go to the people icon, select school documentation and then select the year five parent information. The college website also has a large amount of information regarding the middle school processes and in the Year 5 program. It is here that you will find the Middle School Handbook. Well, that brings our Year 5 Moving to Middle School Information session to a close. We thank you for watching this information session and we hope this has provided you with a greater understanding of what middle school has to offer and what your child's moving to middle school will experience will include. Take care. Have a wonderful summer break and our middle school team look forward to seeing you and your child in 2022.